it's time for another Tooth Talk. We have Dr. Katie Post. She is the owner of Northwest Dental Group. And we have a special guest here today. We have Valerie Phillips. How are you? Hello, I'm doing well. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming in. So of we have course. a giveaway we're going to tell you about. And that's why Valerie's joining us today. Yes. So we are going to tell you a little bit more about that a little bit later on. The focus today is electric toothbrush versus our old handheld non-electric. How yeah. are you, by the way? Good I'm doing great. Thank you for you asking. Have, you have braces now. I do. Look at you I go. I do. I'm doing some uh, a project with 3M. And so it's some new um, state-of-the-art cutting technology that they're testing out. And it's really crazy. So they were able to put my braces on, wires, rubber bands, under 12 minutes. Oh, wow. And um, I did not, I don't really need a lot of correction. It's kind of, I. It, and I do have to admit, I did not realize how much you have to brush your teeth yeah. when you have braces. Right? Yes. And that's why we were talking about the electric <laughs> toothbrushes. Because it is like, I don't even know. I had no empathy for my patients before with braces. And now it's like a whole new world And the flossing. For me. All the time. I'm water picking. I'm flossing. I'm brushing after every meal. And then three days later, I find more. So 3M is doing this test and they pick the head honcho to be the test model? Oh, uh, I'm into that kind of stuff. And it's kind <laughs> it's of fun so cool. to just like experience it and see what they can do. And, and we've had a lot of fun with it. Wow. So yeah, it's fun. Okay. So braces might be a good option for the, the electric toothbrush. We'll talk a little very, bit about that. Very, very much. Yes. <laughs> yes. So first, let's, we have some questions. We're going to break down the handheld sure. versus the electric toothbrush. So what types of electric toothbrushes are there out there? And we have an expert in here, too, with Valerie yes. to talk about that as well. So yeah. what So there's, really there's, there's several different types of electric toothbrushes that you can buy. The ones that I like to talk about are kind of like the Cadillac version. Mm -hmm. And they are the oscillating, where the head goes back and forth, okay. or the sonic. And it's more like a little kind of vibration that there. So the oscillating is really good for people with a lot of sensitivity because it's not going to be as aggressive, as powerful as the sonic can be. But it, it depends on who you are and what toothpaste is, or toothbrush is going to work the best for you. Okay, and Valerie, how much, what's the price range for electric toothbrushes? So there's a wide variety, you guys. You can get the kind that you have to plug the batteries into and you can probably find those at the store. 30 for, bucks. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of the spin stuff. toothbrushes, which kind of go into that category, yeah. are even like $8. Yeah, sure. Okay, so yeah, there's some good options out there. Yeah. So I'm guessing yeah. you recommend the electric over the regular old-fashioned toothbrush? I, you know, it actually depends on the person. Okay. So if you're somebody over the age of 10, under the age of 45, you have good hand dexterity, you can do just as well with a hand toothbrush sure. as you can an electric you toothbrush. You do it properly. If you do it properly. So um, I have sort of like three different groups of patients. Some of my patients, are like me, I get in there because I just scrub yeah. because that's what my mom told me to do. <laughs> and I'm an A student, so I like to do a really good job. And ironically, I just brush all the gum tissue away. Sure. Right? With like the IO, the new Oral-B electric toothbrush, it has an alarm and the handle actually turns red. Oh, it tells you, yes. And it tells you you're pushing too hard. Where with um, uh, some of my patients, I, was, I had a meeting yesterday and he's like, I have to admit, I don't brush my teeth as often as you would like. I'm like, oh, you do it once a day. Mm, I do it every couple days. Oh. He needs a toothbrush like a Sonicare that one, it pairs to your cell phone. It can tell yeah. you what days you miss, what days you don't to create those habits. It also, it's, it's kind of motivation because it's sitting there on the sink. You see yeah. it. That motivates you to do it. But he needs something that's more aggressive because he's not brushing like me. So he's sure. not getting the bacteria cleaned off. And it's sitting there growing and infecting in his gums. Yeah. And that's where we tie that into the heart disease, the diabetes. And it's, you know, and it's hard to say, is it the chicken or the egg? Is it because he's not taking care of himself? Or, you know... Is it because that bacteria is sitting there that that potentially is causing that heart damage? Okay. So for those people, I'm a huge fan of the electric sure, toothbrush. Sure, sure. And you have some affordable options, as you mentioned. So what electric toothbrush is the best? You have the top-notch best one. Yeah. Is it sitting right here? Yeah. Do you want to show them that? <laughs> yes, I would love to, you guys. So a couple of things with the IO. So a lot of us don't know the anatomy of the teeth. So we may be using the improper technique. So that is where the I.O. comes into place because if you, 
I'm just going to pull out my teeth here if you yes, don't mind. Go for it. Um, so if you simply are able to put that toothbrush on your teeth and move that toothbrush slowly along the teeth, you're going to be getting what you need to be getting. If you notice the part of the brush, she's actually down right next to the gum tissue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you want to brush all the way down to that gum tissue to make sure you're clean. A lot of people will get root canals, or not root canals, they'll get cavities right along that line. Mm -hmm. So you need to make sure you don't just brush the top of the tooth, that you're brushing the outside and the inside of all those teeth. Okay, yes. okay. The next thing is a lot of patients are not brushing for long enough. So the benefit of the IO is that it has a timer on it. So it's going to tell you how long you've brushed. This one, in fact, is going to give you a little smiley face. Oh. Sometimes with starry eyes. So that's kind of <laughs> fun to see. Um, and then the other thing with, we talked about this a little bit, but a lot of people brush too hard. So you'll hear this brush, and you'll see this little ring right around the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but there's a red ring, a 360-degree ring on there that's telling you you brush too hard. And that toothbrush backs off when you're doing that. The benefit is it tells you when you're doing a good job, too. It's going to give you a, a green ring. So that helps with sensitivity because sure. a lot of our patients are having that sensitivity yeah. also. Okay. All right. Perfect. I think we have one other question here that will pop up. Is my handheld toothbrush for two minutes adequate? So you touched on that briefly. Yeah. It depends you on the person. Show me yeah. those other? It is if you're using the right handheld toothbrush. So there's a whole bunch of different kinds. And most so I'm going to the dollar are, store and buying that dollar toothbrush. So the issue with the dollar store toothbrush <laughs> is most of them are really narrow and uh -huh. thin, and so they don't clean as sure. wide a surface. If you look at these, you can see how wide that is, and that's it's a pretty big head. Yeah. This, though, is really hard in my mouth because I, as much as I talk, I'm sure it's hard to believe, I actually have a small mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and so they make this tooth for people who are petite because it gets into that, you can get it back far enough to get it clean. If you give either one of these to a, a kid who's a young kid, they won't actually be able to clean the back teeth because it's so big, yeah. they can't get it back far in their mouth. So you can see they have these like adorable yes. little toothbrushes. Um, and the, the issue with the little ones is for like those like elementary kids, these are so small, if they brush with this, they're missing spots. Sure. So you want to make sure, this is one for like elementary kids, you want to make sure you're getting the appropriate toothbrush. The other thing, if you are like me and you're a real brusher, you want to make sure you're always using a soft or extra soft bristle toothbrush. So it's kind of like if you're using a medium toothbrush and a whitening toothpaste, you're really going to do a lot of damage to your teeth. Okay. So we say a soft bristle and non-whitening toothpaste. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, we have one more question. Let's pull that one up as well. Oh, yes. W what is this? What, what are, are the periodontal, periodontal numbers? So actually, that's great. You can look on the model if you have that. And we use a little probe and we're measuring millimeters from, if you think of my, my wrist, and this is my tooth coming out of the bone and the, my jacket is the bone, I'm measuring down to where that bone is to see how swollen that gum tissue is. Mm -hmm. So one, two, even three is pretty healthy for most adults. Mm -hmm. Once you get to four millimeters, your toothbrush can only clean two millimeters into that pocket. So there's two millimeters at the bottom of that pocket that isn't getting cleaned ever. And the bacteria is just sitting down there, like growing a little coral reef around your teeth. So I want my gum. I, so when they're measuring. You want everything under a three. Right, but it's, they're measuring like how far my gums are up? Yes. Okay. How, actually, they're measuring how swollen your gums are. Sure. If, we, if there's a five, a lot of times we'll talk about doing a procedure or a surgery. If there are six, I talk about pulling the tooth. Okay. And so we want to intervene in between three and six to try to make that change. And that's where the electric toothbrush really will take those people that have the four or their fives and they'll just disappear. Okay, all right. We are going to touch on the giveaway in just a minute. We're yep. going to take a commercial break and we'll come back and tell you about the giveaway with Valerie when we return. We'll be right back.